I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up quizzes with accommodation in Noteball. So there is a new feature in Noteball as of May of 2020. So right after the semester ended, we worked with Noteball to get an update. And in the roster tab, some of you might have remembered the groups from last semester. So there's roster and then this roster groups area. And in these roster groups, you can create groups that you put students into and they do not see this roster groups area in their course. So here I can name a group, whatever I want. Um, for the purpose of demoing how to do the accommodation, I'm just going to call it accommodation. And then you could add, I can't spell. And then you could add whatever students in your course require the accommodation. And again, they will not see who are in these groups. So I'm going to name this one accommodation. I hit search, I found the student I need, and I'm going to hit create. Now you can then go ahead and make a group and you can name it something like general class or non-accommodation, whatever you find suitable to call it. And then you would put the remainder of the class in this group. This does create additional work while you're setting up the groups here. But once you have the group set up, you can use these groups for all of your tests and quizzes in Noteball that you need to do accommodation on. So now I have, um, I'm going to just call it non-accom, non-accom. So there we go. So now I have that group and I can hit create. So I have my accommodation group here and forgive my other groups, I demo other things. And then I have my non-accom group here. So I have one student there, the rest of my class here. Now what I'll do in my assignments is I will create my quiz or test as normal. So let's just say this is called quiz one. And I'm not going to go through all of this because all of this is the same for all tests and quizzes. So quiz one, I will leave everything. I will set up my quiz, so let's do that quickly. But you can pretend I've set up a better one. So Okay, so I just threw a couple questions on there. And then I'm going to pub um, actually hold on, I'm not going to publish it yet. So I threw a couple questions on there. I set up my dates. This is just a regular old quiz. All right. So I'm going to go back to this assignments area. And you can see quiz one is right here. It's unpublished and I have all the info there and it is, I have zero out of four submissions, obviously it's unpublished. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate quiz one. So I have two quiz ones and then I'm going to make one assigned to my non-accommodation group and I'm going to make the other version assigned to my accommodation group. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to actually use the import feature in Noteple to duplicate quiz one. I need to find the semester and as long as the semester is active, it will load that for you. So here's my course. I will choose quiz one. I can change the category if I need to. I will choose import. And it's going to just go ahead and copy that quiz right in here. All right, so now you can see I have quiz one twice. So I need to go into quiz one and I need to modify it, make one of them the non-accommodation quiz and the other one the accommodation quiz. So first thing I'm going to do is edit the details of the first one. And I'm going to call this quiz one and you could put an A or something next to it, ABC or whatever. 
I'm going to make quiz 1A my, my non-accommodation quiz. So under the visible 2, I'm now going to change this to my non-accom group. And that means only those in my non-accom group are going to be able to see quiz 1A. I will leave the 10 minutes. I will hit save. And I'm going to edit the other version of quiz one. And I'll call this B for the sake of our demo, but again, you can choose how to name those and what makes sense for you. Under visible two, this is where I would choose my accommodation. So now it's only going to those in the accommodation group. One of the things you might have to change depending on the student's accommodation needs is the time limit. So I, I could go ahead and adjust the time limit here to give them 15 minutes instead of 10. And I can hit save. So to recap that, I made one quiz and then I duplicated it before I sub-assigned it to different groups. And that's important to note. Something here, notice how quiz 1B disappeared. That's a glitch. If you just hit refresh, it will be back. And I have reported that to Notebull. So there's quiz 1A and quiz 1B. You are not done yet because you still have to click in there and make sure you publish the test or quiz. That's always a step and I purposely did not do it last time. So here I can check my available date, check my due date. This is my quiz 1A. If I forgot who it was assigned to, I could go ahead and hit the edit details button right in here. And when I'm ready, I can publish this test or quiz just like I would publish any test or quiz. Now I'm going to go back to the assignments again. I'm going to look at quiz 1B and I am going to adjust the due date because that might also be another thing with accommodation. You'll have to check that, it varies per student. And then once I'm ready, I can go ahead and hit publish test or quiz and then I will hit publish. So down here you can see quiz one is over and it has a uh, zero out of three submissions. And that's showing me that it's out of the three students that it's visible to, remember, because quiz 1A was visible to the non acom group, zero out of the three have submitted. So the other student doesn't even see this quiz because he's not in the group. Down here I can see zero out of one because only one student could submit this quiz. When I look inside, if I were taking a peek at the results by student, they haven't submitted yet. I think Ron literally just submitted his. Let me refresh. Uh, so here I had to do a refresh, but I can look at results by student. I can see Ron's. And notice how Anu is not in this one because he is not part of the group that was sub-assigned this quiz. So his name's not even listed. If I go back to the assignments, and I take a look at quiz 1B, and that's my accommodation group, I can see results by student, and I can see that he is the only one in here because he is the only one who that quiz was assigned to. So you don't have to think about, wait, who am I supposed to grade for each of these versions because it's doing that for you right in here. And the last thing I just wanna give you a peek of, and Jesse, then I will answer your question is in here in the grades tab, it's going to do the same thing. If you see, if you're using grades tab, you can see quiz 1A, quiz 1B, and I cannot even do a grade for Anu here because it's not even assigned to him. So it's not going to calculate into his grade. His is over here. And then you can see down here, the other three students had A assigned and not B. Uh, if you have any issues with Notebull, please reach out to servicedesk at denison.edu and they will direct you to the right people to help you. Thank you and have a wonderful day.